begin. To begin is half the work. Let half still remain. Again, begin this, and thou wilt have finished. Nothing happens to any man that is not formed by nature to bear. Perfection of character is this, to live each day as if it were your last, without frenzy, without apathy, without pretense. Treat whatever happens as wholly natural, not novel or hard to deal with, but familiar and easily handled. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. Keep at it, as a blazing fire takes whatever you throw on it and makes it light and flame. Do every act of your life as if it were your last. How long will you wait before you demand the best of yourself and trust reason to determine what is best? Receive without pride, let go without attachment. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. A man, when he has done a good act, does not call out for others to come and see, but he goes on to another act, as a vine goes on to again produce the grapes in season. It never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinions than our own. Because your own strength is unequal to the task, do not assume that it is beyond the powers of man. But if anything is within the powers and province of man, believe that it is within your own compass also. Confine yourself to the present. Be tolerant of others and strict with yourself. Pleasures, when they go beyond a certain limit, are but punishments. A setback has often cleared the way for greater prosperity. Many things have fallen only to rise to more exalted heights. The true man is revealed in difficult times. So when trouble comes, think of yourself as a wrestler who God, like a trainer, has paired with a tough young buck. For what purpose? To turn you into Olympic class material. But this is going to take some sweat to accomplish. What we do now echoes in eternity. For God's sake, stop honoring externals. Quit turning yourself into the tool of mere matter or of people who could supply you or deny you those material things. Do not act as if you had 10,000 years to throw away. Death stands at your elbow. Be good for something while you live and it is in your power. A man must stand erect, not be kept erect by others. Dwell on the beauty of life. Watch the stars and see yourself running with them. Concentrate on what you have to do. Fix your eyes on it. Remind yourself that your task is to be a good human being. Remind yourself what nature demands of people. Then do it, without hesitation, and speak the truth as you see it, but with kindness, with humility, without hypocrisy.